Yeah, hello, I'm Will, um, and I'm going to just take you through our Mafia Tiger Graph uh, instance. So what I'm going to do is share my screen and we can have a quick look at Tiger Graph. So what we've got here is our schema. <clears throat> and what we've tried to do is generate some data wherein we can sort of see the links between members of the public, banks, police officers and organised crime. So we've got nodes for police. Mafia individuals, mafia organizations in Italy, specifically locations in Italy, crimes, raids conducted by the police on mafia tip offs. And we've got some bank information and transactions as well. Um, <clears throat> so. What we've done is engineer the data in such a way that that we've mimicked um, the real world links that you might see between these data types, right? So the, the the aspiration here is to have a proof of concept that can be carried over to real world organized crime. So what we've got here is we can see through two expansion steps, for example, at this location, we have certain crimes occurring. Um, we also have individuals from these locations and these individuals perhaps were in contact with members of the mafia. In this instance, where the red is the mafia, blue, dark blue is the individual, and they're from this light blue location, for example. Um, so that's the that's the general gist. Um, you know, you can see just graphically here, visually that, that there is a lot of linkage going on. Um, so if we look now at our queries, um, one of the important ones that we think could be used, um, sort of to to figure out what's going on, is uh, this one. So these are the police officers who've had one or more failed raids. I'm sure it's, you know, pretty easy to conceptualize that if you've got a police officer who's failing a lot of raids, perhaps they're being paid off by some member of the mafia or, or something along those lines. We now expand these along certain vertices. <clears throat> we can see, well, actually what's going to happen is we can see there are locations where there are hubs of 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 police officers who have failed uh to to get busts on these raids right so they've failed these raids that could indicate that there's a high level of corruption in this area so this is one example of a query that we've run <clears throat> to try and find hot spots of of potentially nefarious activity um i'm not going to take you through all of the potential um, queries that we've got, we've got a few that can show you different metrics. For example, we can look at uh, corruption metrics uh, just to take you through the list that we've got here. Um, we can do crime counts, crime types by city. We can see the number of mafia bosses affiliated with each bank, etc. So that's just an introduction to our proof of concept for for what could be um, applied to broader organized crime situations. Thank you.